What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So if you follow along with us, you know we just did our video announcing that Apple dropped iOS 18.1 beta 1 with the first signs and actual ability to sign up for Apple Intelligence. Yes, there is a waitlist you have to join. It's very simple under settings. Click join waitlist. Again, that was in our prior video. This video, I want to focus specifically on what is actually here in beta one. And spoiler alert, it's a lot less than what you think and really seems to boil down to a couple aspects. One, the visual changes of Siri that we showed in that prior video and a slight tweak to Apple's mail app that has the new priority mailbox option. But I want to go ahead and jump into it and show you guys how it looks if you missed that other video and what really is live because there is not a lot here just yet. Before we do that, I do just wanna let you guys know, keep in mind, this is now an 18.1 release, so this is not gonna come loaded even on the new iPhone 16 series that we're expecting within the next 60 days in September at some point. This will still come later down the line. It's definitely a little strange that they are releasing a .1 release before even 18.0 is out. But here we are, it's not unheard of. Apple has done this before in the past once. Let's jump into it. So hopping right into it, if you missed our introduction for 18.1 beta one, all you need to do is jump into settings and you will see the new category for Apple intelligence and Siri right here. And as you can see, we are obviously already in the wait list and joined already and now have the toggle for Apple intelligence. If you have not joined yet and it's your first time going into this, you will have a blue button to select that says join waitlist. It'll ask you if you still wanna do it, yada yada. And then once you actually get accepted into it, you will receive a push notification or you can just kinda of toggle through settings and see it here as well. Obviously one of the biggest changes is the revamp to series UI itself. Unfortunately, we still do not have every feature of new Siri live and active yet, and it's very minimal right now. But I can tell you some key Siri upgrades like on-screen awareness and in-app actions simply are not present yet. You do have the new design and you have the ability to maintain context from one request to the next so you can continuously follow up with questions without having to re-say the hot word or trigger the button or enter that. Um, and it does have allegedly a deeper knowledge of Apple's various products. So to show you this, let me go ahead and turn this brightness up a little bit for you guys. And all you're gonna wanna do is hold down like you traditionally would, and there is that new interface, and you can actually see it right now reading everything we're saying. So I'm gonna stop it, and we're gonna do it again and prompt it a couple questions. How tall is LeBron James? Is he playing in the Olympics? And as you can see, it's working and still now hearing what we're saying. And it's not triggering another command even though I'm speaking vocally right now. So now let's go ahead and ask it another question. Who else is playing on Team USA? Who else is playing on Team USA? And as you can see, it pulled up a search result for Google. And again, it is not reading what we're saying. Oh, there it goes, unfortunately. So again, this is still in beta, but still pretty good nonetheless to see what this new UI looks like. However, I will also say that it is still the same dumbed down Siri that we're used to. There's no ChatGTP built in yet. There's no other real smart just yet that I've found. One other call out that doesn't seem to do too much in this build with Apple intelligence is that new mailbox filter. You do have this new three dot icon here that does say show priority now. And even if you select it or unselect it, nothing is changing just yet. Could be a server end switch that just might needs to get flipped on, but currently that is still technically not active. There are some new writing tools that should be in here. So writing tools is pretty neat and is live here. I'm just going to go ahead and test something here and just say, I'm gonna send it to myself really quick. Subject test. And how is everything going today? What is the weather outside? Are you interested in doing a partnership here soon? Thanks for all you do. 
So we have all this written, right? If you go ahead and highlight whatever you need and scroll over here now, you do have that new writing tools prompt and you can see some options given to you. It can proofread and it says one change. You can revert it back if you'd like. You can have it rewrite it for you and you can see how it edited it. Let's go ahead and say retry. You can also still jump back in. Let's highlight everything again. Writing tools, change it to be more friendly, professional, or concise. Let's say concise, and you can see it shortened everything up. Let's go back to the original. And let's actually go back in here to writing tools. You also can see a summary, key points, list, or a table view. So if you say list, let's see if it'll actually list everything out it actually broke down all the questions we had into lists. Let's revert that back. Key points, weather inquiry, partnership interest. You can have it summarize what you need, inquiries about the weather and partnership opportunities. It is very, very well built in this first beta already. So I think this is gonna be probably one of the most useful aspects of what you're gonna get in Apple Intelligence in its current form. Now, you do obviously also have automatic transcripts in Apple Notes and natural language search and photos. I did kind of touch on this before. I think it's still a work in progress and not quite where it needs to be just yet. But if you actually go to photos and do a search in here, let's say, show me pictures at a concert from a year ago. No results shown. However, I know I had a concert over this course of the time I went to in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's still not working. Nashville, Tennessee, party pictures. And you can see how it's pulling up things that not necessarily were in that exact time frame, but these are some from Nashville, Tennessee mixed in along the way. So again, still a little bit of work to do for this beta, but that is the most of what is new in this build Apple AI wise. Now what's interesting here is we are at the end of July already, but Apple has released this P build, which signifies there is a lot of work to do before 18.1 comes out. No surprise to anyone. We obviously know iOS 18 is going to come first in September and then possibly October for 18.1. So they have a ton of time to play with in order to get 18.1 finished. So the beta cycle is going to be, I would think, pretty extensive. So again, today's the 29th. I'm imagining we won't get beta 2 to this until the 12th. I actually believe iOS 18 and 18.1 betas will alternate weeks. So July 29th, we received beta 1 of 18.1. I think July 5th, we'll get iOS 18 beta 5. And then July 12th will be the second beta of 18.1 and so on and so forth. So Apple's going to do whatever they want, but this is what we believe to happen in the next few months for iOS 18's release cycle. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you most excited about for Apple intelligence? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.